Hello, everyone. I'm Jing Shi. I'm the technical product manager for NSX operations. Today, I'm going to talk about the live traffic analysis feature and show you how to use it to trace and capture packets in the NSX environment. The live traffic analysis feature was introduced in 3.2 release. It provides a unified approach for troubleshooting. The user can capture and trace packet all together with a single click. In this video, I will provide three demos. The first one is for trace and capture packet between two VMs. Let's get started. So first of all, we need to create a session, give a name for the session. Here, it's a session timeout, means after the session start, how long it will run. So for example, if you want to trace the packet after start, how long the trace will run. If you want to capture the packet, how long the capture will run after the start. The packet trace and packet capture are two individual features. You can run either of them or run them together. The sampling type here means um, when the trace start, the first n number of packets will be traced, or the first n number packet will be captured. So then we select uh, uh, how many packets we want to trace, or how many packets we want to capture. They don't have to be the same. Then we pick the source and add the destination. You can use advanced setting to add additional filters. Then we start the session. So you can see the status is in progress. So we set the session to run for 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, then it will stop. Okay, so it's basically the trace and the uh, capture finished here. Let's look at the result. Here you can see the result of the trace. One thing I want to point out is Currently, we only trace or capture the packet as a source. So for a two-way communication, you will see two trees, one for each direction. So for example here, those five packets for one direction, the other five packets for the other direction. If you have packet capture enabled, you can download the PCAP files. You can see there are two files, one for each direction. So let's look at the uh, capture files. If you look at the details of the uh, packet, you will see there is a, a packet comment field that uh, we added. The packet ID here is matching the packet ID in the trace. So you're able to correlate the trace and the packet capture. The next demo, we will look at how to trace packet uh, and capture packet 
for the both policy-based VPN and uh, route-based VPN. But before we start, we need to understand the trace point. If you want to capture the original packet before the encryption, you need to, for the policy-based VPN, you need to uh, go to the logical port to trace or capture the packet. If you want to get the ESP packet, the encrypted packet, you need to go to Edge Uplink. Currently, for the Edge Uplink, we can only capture or trace the inbound packet. So for example, if you want to trace the packet from VM1 to VM5, you need to go to this app link, add app link to capture the packet or trace the packet. Now let's take a look at an example of trace and capture the encrypted packet from VM1 to VM5. Uh, the trace point will be on the edge, which is on the um, VM5 side edge. Let's get started. First, we create a session. I'll call it the policy-based VPN. So the timeout will be 10. Uh, I want to trace, same time I want to capture the packet as well. I give the value five five. <laughs> the type, we select the for the interface and the edge uplink. It will be 300 support. We can go to advanced setting, enable the filter, and select the protocol ESP. Select the session, the policy-based uh, VPN session. Apply. Then start the session. Now let's look at the result. So you can see the packet trace, right? From here, you can see the encrypted packet with the a tunnel IP address. Here, that's the IP address of the VM. So you can see each observation point is the packet passes through. And you can download the PCAP file. Now we have the uh, PCAP file. You can see the ESP packet. We go to uh, details of the packet. You can see the packet ID corresponding to the packet ID in the trace. So the route based VPN will trace a packet from VM6 to VM3, and the trace point will be virtual tunnel interface on the VM3 side. We'll get started. Create a session. I'll have a raw based VPN. I select um, sampling value five. So for the source, I'll select uh, Port and uh, interface. 
attachment will be IPsec. Select the IPsec session. Then you will see the pack capture will be automatically grayed out because we don't support packet capture at virtual tunnel interface at this time. Move on to advanced setting. Enable the filter, select the protocol type. Here you need to pay attention. You can select either TCP, UDP, or ICMP. You cannot select the ESP because here it's not an encrypted packet. At the tunnel interface, that's just original packet. Let's select uh, ICMP here. And for the source and destination, that is the VM source and destination. Apply. Start session. Let's look at the result. So here you can see the trace result. Then go here. It tell you about the interface path with the raw based VPN tunnel interface. Here you can see the VM's IP address and the rest of the observation point of the packet pass through. This will be the end of the live traffic analysis demo.